Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Inspire IRCD or however you want to say it as fast as possible. I'm going to be doing this uh, really quickly and just kind of directly to the point. Uh, IRC clients do not, or not clients, but servers do not uh, allow you to use root anymore unless specifically specified. And it's a security risk, so we're not even going to do that. We're going to make a new user, we're going to give it root privileges or pseudo privileges rather. And we're going to use that to then do what we need to do. So first things first is we're going to do sudo add user and we're going to make it whatever we want. I'm going to do lol IRC. Okay. And then once that's done, we're going to make a password for lol IRC. And before anything else, we're just going to press enter, 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 enter. Is the information correct? Yes. I'm going to clear this. And now what we're going to do here is a little sudo user mod uh, a attack G and then the user so it's a lol IRC um, let me see here oh I'm sorry about that we need to put sudo lol IRC two sudos there so anyways clear that and now we can go into the user so basically gonna su and then the username it's gonna let us write in or it's gonna ask you what the password is just uh, enter the password there and as you can see, we cannot open the root directory, so I'm going to go to the home directory of our user. And once we are here, uh, we can then start installing the dependencies. So since I'm on Debian, I'm going to do apt install um, git perl g++ make tack y. And because we are not root, I need to remember to do sudo before everything. And there we go. So then it will do everything there. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna download the actual IRC file. So as you can see, we have nothing in here. I'm gonna w get the um, files. Then I'm going to extract the files with tar. And once that's done, I'm going to then cd into the directory. I'm gonna clear this massive thing out the way. So the reason why we need a Perl here is because we're gonna configure and uh, we're just gonna press enter a bunch of times. Um, basically this is just stating where things are going to be set to and it's telling you where they're going to be set to so we can always scroll back up and check that and once that's done we're going to press make it's going to do its thing here and then we are going to be able to continue so I'm going to pause the video now um, and when we get back I will show you what to do when this is done. This is a really long process. Uh, make sure to subscribe and leave a like on the video if you like this and also have all the commands in the description if you need it below and make sure to put any suggestions in the comments or um, you know any problems you're having and I'll try to check it out. All right, thanks. We'll be right back. All right, <clears throat> so I'm back here with the finished product of the uh, make and we're gonna do make install now that it's done and it's just going to configure the paths That our config file is here. Uh, I'm just gonna note this down Or keep it copied rather uh, and then when we're done with that now all we have to do is uh, We can actually just do the uh, configuration file. So uh, What I'm going to do here now is I'm going to nano this file here um, and I have a blank one here for you in the description. Basically, all I did was um, I changed a couple of things, the name, the description, ID, network, uh, the admin info. Um, you can just change that yourself. And the address is going to be the server IP, server port you want it on, 6697 or 6667. These are the normal ones, and then the type I have it set to clients. Uh, you can obviously change this to your liking. So actually, before I do that, I'm actually going to go IPB ADR to grab the IP address that we're going to be using. So it's going to be this. Uh, I'm just going to put that in here. I'm going to remove the 24, uh, and I think we're good to go. So just make sure you get it all copied, and then let's go back here and nano and drop that in. I believe that is the right spot, uh, but we'll find out, obviously, if that's not. Um, another thing I'm going to do here is I'm now going to start up the IRC server. Um, and it's not a valid service. I'm going to turn it with the first character, digit, and the next to a digit or letter. So, um, 
let's go fix that. So it's basically saying that uh, not a valid server ID. Um, so a number and then two letters, I think it said, right? Uh, all right, let's see if that works. Uh, the next two characters, a digit or a letter. Um, yeah, that's right. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with that. Let's use the example that they used in uh, the config uh, that actually I have an idea. It could be that it's just not capitalized. So let's run that again. Yeah, and so now it's running. I'm going to clear this. And I'm just going to check the status of it. So yeah, you can see it's running. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going to clear, I'm gonna CD go here. Uh, I'm actually gonna connect from a IRC client and then I will get right back to you. Okay, now that we have our IRC client open, for this tutorial I'm just gonna use Kiwi IRC because I don't want to uh, link anything that I have already desktop client-wise to this here. So I'm gonna do 6697, we're just gonna put the IP in and the port. Obviously, if you're using a domain, you can use the domain. And then our nickname is whatever you want it to be. I'm going to make it Linux Tutorials. And I'm going to connect to the network. Uh, as you can see, I already tried this here. But, yep, so it gives you a little um, message of the day. And there is none. Uh, but I wish this would go away here so I could show you what I'm trying to type. Okay, I don't think it is, but it's going to be backslash J, which is to join a channel. And then the pound symbol and it's going to be whatever channel you want to join. So let's say I want to join LOL, right? As you can see, we're now in the channel LOL, LOL here, and we could type a message. Uh, this is the IRC setup. So now that that annoying message is away, what I was doing is just J and then the channel I want to join. Um, so let's say I want to join hello. But yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and I uh, hope you guys all found this useful. Thanks.